Hey guys, Anthony here. I'm gonna do a quick demo of this Mr. Buddy heater, portable buddy. Um, this is the uh, 4,000 to 9,000 BTU one. It takes one of those Coleman uh, one pound cylinders or uh, if you have the right adapter hose, you can connect the uh, larger propane cylinders to this like some people do, uh, you know, that want longer duration of heat. Uh, but I'm going to use the small one pound uh, cylinder today. Uh, these things are, I, I started this up once in Florida when I bought it. I haven't used it yet, but today it's, you know, 34 degrees here in West Virginia. And one of the reasons I bought this was in case we got uh, stranded in our van um, on the trip up or back, we had a source of heat. Um, so that's the reason I bought this uh, Mr. Buddy, uh, Mr. Heater Portable uh, Buddy. Um, so again, uh, they have it listed here that it uses for workshops, porches, garages, picnics, tailgates, tents, hunting blinds, ice fishing shanties, truck and horse trailers. Um, heats up to 200 square feet for up to 110 hours. Uh, again, we'll get this out of the box and get it set up and uh, started. But uh, I just wanted to give you guys a walk around of it. We'll take it out of the box in a second. Back here, it gives you directions, shows you the... Um, larger cylinder with the hose which I have the uh, I have a I think a five pound cylinder at home with the uh, connector hose that I use for a uh, Coleman stove that I'm sure will work uh, along with this uh, heater as well so definitely got some long term uh, I'll take some more marshmallows please for my hot chocolate thank you very much okay we'll be right back and get this out of the box Okay guys, here's the heater. I'll give you a little walk around. There's your front. There's your handle. Again, the handle folds down or comes up in that position there. There is our cylinder that I've already installed and basically this tilts up and out. You screw the cylinder on in a hand tightened position and then it goes back down and just sits uh, like that. Then this front area here is your heating tile. Down here is where your pilot light will go on. You'll see that when I light up the heater. And here are your setting, your control knob. You have the off position, the pilot position in which you uh, light the heater, and then the high and low position uh, to run the heater. And again, all these exterior surfaces will remain cool to the touch except of course for the um, front grill area where the heater where the heat is coming out you even have an area here where this can be hung uh, say inside of a vehicle uh, like your van or something you could hang this up and keep it off the floor and uh, keep it out of the way of anything or if you were in a cabin or a lodge or something like that you could hang that up um, so there it is guys let's uh, light this up and um, check out some of the heat output. All right, I'm gonna film this myself. Um, okay, so basically the directions say, slightly depress uh, your knob here, turn to the pilot position, and then press down and hold for 30 seconds. There, I think you can see the pilot has lit. And then it says, um, once that is lit, uh, slightly depress the knob turning to the high position which I just did until the tile which you're going to see now glows bright orange once it glows it's bright orange then you can lower the setting to the low position I'm already getting some good heat off that now and you see the tile uh, lighting up right now you see the snow in the background guys view of the valley down there look pretty low visibility today but uh, it's pretty cold out here and once this baby cranks up you can feel the heat I'm sitting outside on my daughter's porch and if you were sitting down with two chairs here and had this in between two people you could definitely um, feel the heat coming off of it so there's the high setting. Now just slightly depress the knob, 
turn to the low setting and there it is there that low setting you'll see the screen goes down a little bit your pilot is lit and that's your unit to shut it off you'll just simply depress slightly on the knob <clears throat> to shut it off depress slightly on the knob turn to the off position um, the pilot goes down pilot goes out and uh, there you have it obviously you let it cool down unscrew your cylinder you just lift this out here and then unscrew it remove it cap it off for safe storage and put your heater away if you're storing it in the box like I am right now obviously you're gonna wait until this cools down and it's cold to the touch before you put it away so guys there it is the mr. heater portable buddy uh, something I invested in to have on these trips up north and also for Florida on super cold days that we get you know now and then and to have with me in my van in case uh, I need a secondary heat source for the van there it is guys thanks for watching let me know your questions and comments I know some of my viewers use these uh, mr. buddy heaters primarily to heat their vans up their RVs and uh, they have uh, a lot of experience with it and I'm sure they'll share their comments in the comments section so thanks a lot guys take care stay ready have a great healthy and blessed Thanksgiving Anthony signing off